Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about Instagram. I'm gonna pull up my notes right now. I'm gonna be talking about how to have a great Instagram feed. I'm gonna fix my shirt first. I will be doing a video on how I edit my Instagram photos if you want to cop my aesthetic. To start off, my Instagram is at Allegra Shaw. You can go check it out. Uh, I My feed is a very like cool toned, um, light, bright aesthetic, but um, I keep it sort of that cool tone thing. I've had that for a while. I have tried out different Instagram themes, but I always kind of come back to this cool toned aesthetic. So my first tip is to have a variety of different pictures. You want to switch up your different, your pictures. So um, have a selfie and then have a product photo, an outfit photo, photo with friends, a selfie, and then kind of like have just a variety of pictures. You don't want it to just be like selfie, 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 or like out photo, out photo, out photo, out photo. So the pictures that um, aren't of me or like me and my friends, I call filler pictures. So like pictures of my coffee table or pictures of my bag, pictures of uh, the scenery. Um, you can kind of like condense your filler pictures if you want to just have like a theme of your filler pictures. So like just product photos or something like that. But I like to kind of give myself variety so that it really does. I like to use my Instagram I don't want it to be like super fake. So usually when I post a picture of an outfit, I've worn that picture, I've worn that outfit like that day or the day before, but it's totally fine to like take a bunch of pictures at one time and kind of use those on an ongoing basis. I did that with my Italy pictures. I used a lot of my Italy pictures as continuous filler pictures throughout. So just have a variety of different pictures um, and kind of mix it up. A great way to do this is to plan your feed um, you can see what kind of like what goes together and the app I use to plan my feed is called Mosaic. I think you have to pay for it, but it's totally worth it. Um, and then that, that makes sure that like I don't have two selfies on top of each other or like something like that. Like it all just looks great. My tip number two is for pictures of yourself, switch up the poses. So have some pictures of you sitting, have some pictures of you standing, leaning, um, drinking coffee, you know, like just switch up pictures of you. People don't want to see the same thing over and over. And I, I feel like when a, when a feed looks super produced, it doesn't do so well. The feed needs to look natural. And Instagram is to share pictures of your life. So make it seem natural or just be natural. In pictures of yourself, candid photos look really nice. Um, so just get someone to just continue to take pictures and kind of just like move around. Uh, but the more natural your feed is, the better it will do and the more people will want to engage with your feed. I think people really like to see pictures. I didn't make this up, but I think people really like to see pictures that they feel like they shouldn't be seeing. You know what I mean? My pictures that are super overproduced, it just sometimes they don't do as well as like when I just shot a picture on my iPhone and it was just super natural in the moment. And then for your filler pictures, having or tip number three is for your filler pictures, having like good Instagram worthy surfaces. So like cool tiles on the floor. Um, I have a sheet of marble paper that I can put things on because I don't have any marble surfaces in my house. Um, I just put that sheet and if I want to take product photos, I put the product on that sheet of marble, like sticker, sticker paper. Fur is a really good one. I have a cow hide on the floor, but just Instagram worthy surfaces are good for taking those like filler pictures or product photos. Number four is use the same um, filter on each of your photos and kind of keep it the same aesthetic. I like to edit my photos in ViscoCam or VSCOCam and I use the filter HB2 and I then play around with the settings to make it look like my aesthetic. I'll do a separate video on how I edit my Instagram photos, but that's what I do and I use that for every single photo and it really looks cohesive. Uh, number five is to get inspired. I go through Instagram all the time and I use that save photos feature. I just save it to a collection and I keep a little folder collection called like inspo, instaspo, and I have also on my, Inst on my Pinterest page the same thing. And I just take pictures that I, or I, I save pictures that I really like and that I maybe want to recreate in my own way or just get inspired from those photos. I think it's a really helpful way to kind of just get inspired and feel creative. Portrait photos do way better than square photos because when you when you put a portrait photo up, when people are scrolling through their Instagram page, it takes up most of their phone and they're just, it's way more visually appealing to someone rather than a landscape photo or a square photo. So. I highly recommend you do portrait photos. They always do the best for me. 
And when you're taking pictures on your, for your Instagram, just try to keep it all in good and natural light. If not, you can use like artificial light like I'm using right now. But outside, natural light usually does the best. If the picture is super dark and low quality, it's really hard to bump up the exposure, bump up the highlights, bump up the shadows. And it just will end up being like kind of a bad quality picture. Keep it light, keep it bright, unless you're going for that like dark, great quality aesthetic. If a picture is really dark, make sure it's amazing quality. Normally pictures that are light, bright, and beautiful do the best. That's all I have for having a great Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be putting out a video on how I edit my my Instagram photos, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you have any other photo, if you have any other video requests, remember to leave them down below, and I will get to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Allegra Shaw. And yeah, I love you all. Peace and love.